So uh, if you read the same book as me uh, in chapter two, uh, we'll talk about the uh, differentiation of a vector. And uh, you will encounter the problem that, uh, uh, you know, this equation here is very difficult to understand. Uh, where we talk, we will eventually help you understand differentiation of uh, uh, a vector p in the inertia uh, frame i um, is equal to differentiate it in um, you know in terms of time in the uh, body frame, which is a rotating frame. Um, however, there is another term here, which is called the uh, you know rotating effect. Uh, because your frame, um, you know, body frame is rotating um, with the angular speed omega uh, b dash i. This represents uh, the angular velocity of frame um, f b wheeled in f i. Uh, so, in order to under fully understand this equation, uh, we will uh, describe it in two videos. In the this first video, I want to actually uh, show you that uh, uh, this equation here um, is actually correct. Um, this equation is the key point where um, you know it, it was used to understand um, that equation. Uh, and this equation essentially, uh, fundamentally, you can understand it as um, you know uh, the um, I access in the base frame if, if uh, its linear velocity uh, is equals to um, you know the um, angular uh, velocity of the rotating frame uh, cross product with the um, unit direction vector itself so um, we'll help you understand uh, this equation and we will prove it um, because this is usually uh, not very intuitive, uh, um, you know, because it's in the 3D um, rigid body. Uh, in order to prove this, uh, we will first need to understand uh, how, how to define the uh, rotation. So uh, rotation usually is uh, rotating across uh, one uh, axis. And then if uh, something is like, uh, you know, uh, rotating uh, across this axis uh, like that, we usually use like a right hand rule. Um, you know, you use the right hand uh, and then um, your thumb define the uh, angular velocity rotation direction um, or the, the direction of that vector, uh, which uh, we can define as uh, omega um, vector and this vector actually describe the rotation itself the magnitude of the vector of course is uh, you know the magnitude of that vector and uh, uh, the rotation because it's angular rotation so the rotation you, you, we define as the you know right hand rule um, and imagine that uh, we, we are interested in um, from this origin, uh, we have a vector A that is uh, rotating um, across this X uh, and with the angular velocity uh, omega. Uh, so we are interested in calculating the linear velocity um, of the vector A dash, which uh, could be defined as like a linear um, velocity um, or the D, um, you know, DA DT. So in order to calculate this, right, um, we can define this angle as uh, theta. And then from here on, we can um, know that this is the radius R. Um, and what happened is that um, this linear velocity uh, way here, right, it is uh, because this is like a 2D. Um, so 
uh, that is equals to your uh, angular velocity uh, omega uh, multiplied by the um, r. And I'm not sure if you understand this, but uh, this is supposed to be quite easy to um, prove because the um, displacement is usually equals to, uh, I shouldn't use theta to confuse things, but uh, if there is a, um, you know, kind of a pi here, uh, if we have an alpha, and then this is IO, this is R, your, your IO will equal to alpha times R. And then if we uh, use DL, DT, uh, R doesn't change, so D alpha DT uh, is your angular velocity times R, which is uh, your omega times R. So that is uh, essentially um, what, what, what we are using here. So if you agree with me on this, um, then uh, what happened is this R is equals to um, the vector A multiplied by the uh, sine theta, actually the magnitude of it. Um, and uh, in this case, um, you know, the cross the, the definition of cross product between two vectors is is, is defined um, as you know a cross product b will be a magnitude times b uh, multiplied by sine um, angle between a and b. In this case, uh, you know this is really if, if we um, ignore the direction, it will be uh, essentially omega um, vector cross product the a vector, right? Because uh, we are using like uh, this will be equals to uh, omega times a multiplied by uh, sine theta here. Um, so we sort of proved that uh, um, based on this, you know, figure uh, the linear velocity here. Uh, or if we only care about magnitude, the linear velocity here is equals to uh, the angular velocity uh, multiplied by r, and it, it is actually equals to uh, angular velocity cross product the um, the a vector here. So if you agree with me that uh, uh, you know v is uh, equals to omega dash. Uh, cross product the a vector then um, we could talk about uh, why this is the case because in, in this 3d right the same thing that uh, this um, this frame uh, this frame will be rotating using um, you know the x-axis um, that is along with omega b i, uh, so that uh, um, frame in, in, in green, it, it is rotating, you know, using this uh, axis as a center axis. Um, and, and then in this case, there is an analogy almost like, uh, uh, you know, uh, this center axis is essentially the, the axis here. And uh, uh, your magnitude of omega bi will be just omega bi. And then um, if we are interested in like the uh, linear velocity of uh, uh, linear linear velocity of ib here, um, this ib vector, unity vector will be um, the same thing as your a here, right? Because both, like all of those three are kind of rotating using this axis as a center. So it's essentially the same thing that we derived here. Um, in, th in this case, the linear velocity uh, is defined like that, and, and then uh, your uh, angular velocity is like that, and then you uh, cross product with um, 
the vector a in this case is the vector ib itself so we sort of proved um, this equation is the case and similarly we can wrote uh, you know the equation for the other um, axis uh, essentially your j uh, in base frame um, its linear velocity is equals to uh, this same vector omega b uh, i cross product with uh, um, you know your j um, axis b um, and then similarly your k um, in base frame it's uh, you know linear velocity is equals to um, omega b dash i um, that velocity uh, you know rotating angular velocity vector of the um, rotating frame uh, cross product the um, you know vector kb um, will give you the linear motion um, you know linear vector of velocity of the um, that, that vector kb itself so uh, we sort of proved to you using knowledge of cross product as well as uh, some um, you know um, simple math in 2d frame here uh, using those we proved the uh, equation that is very difficult to understand in 3d frame Next video, uh, uh, we'll expand on this and uh, talk about why, uh, you know, differentiating a vector in uh, inertia frame um, will be equals to differentiate in the rotating frame plus a rotating effect. Thanks.